Oh, no, don't eat that. That's not yours. It's mine. So, what is this? What is this? Chip already? I've carried it to Kevin's house one time! One time, one car ride. Okay, Kevin's house back, two car rides. And it tripped. Angry. That's not gonna look last if I've gotta carry this around a convention all the time. What are you doing? So it's another 100 plus degree day in San Diego today and everyone's, everyone's a little cranky. <clears throat> What is this madness going on right now? <laughs> it's perfect. He's got paint all over his chest. Look at him. You got paint on your chest. Why? Because you ram head first into my face. Why? Why you do that? Feathers are all white there on his chest. Silly. Um, Kevin downloaded the beta of um, Battlefield, Battlefront. Battle oh my God! It was so much fun. We were playing the co-op on Tatooine where you had to fight the troopers and get the little things that come down and you gotta like defend the thing and you gotta go fight the thing. Oh my god, it was so much fun and you can only do like three things. There's two online multiplayer things that you can play and then the one, it's more of like a mission. I don't really, I wasn't really paying attention. He just selected what we were gonna play and we just played. Oh, sorry, I was not paying attention. But, and he, uh, Kevin was playing the multiplayer on Hoth. That was so cool, because you got to pick up these little icons and you could go up to the sky and be like in a TIE fighter or an X-Wing or a Y-Wing or the A, and like you could fight in the sky or you were fighting like battles on the ground, or if you were like doing really well and you picked up another little badge that was floating around the floor, then you got to like be in the ATAT -AT or the ATST and you got to like control it! And then if you were really special and you found the special little icon, you got to be Luke or Vader. Sweet! Right? Oh, it was so good! What's, what's that made out of? What's that? What What is that? This? This? Specify. Got lots going on right now. Hey! I told you not to eat that! Don't eat my styrofoam things either! You little brat! Look at it! Hold on! You see it? He looks like the Sphinx because a bird ate it. Little brat. So, the highlight today is going to be making a bomb. A bomb! A cosplay bomb. A fake bomb, okay? We're not making a real bomb, but we're going to make it look pretty sweet! Alright, so this is the bomb we're going to be making. <gasps> so cool, right? I know. I know it's going to be cool. Okay. So, to make this bomb this is what we are going to do so oh. essentially what's going on okay so essentially what i did with kevin was we walked around the dollar store for like an hour hour and a half maybe not that long but we walked around for a long time just up and down every aisle trying to figure out what was going to be the best way to make this bomb so essentially what we decided was um to make the tubes the little green tubies um i bought a shampoo bottle it used to be a shampoo bottle and i just cut off the top um and i cut it in half because like if i had two shampoo bottles it would have been really too big so i just cut one in half and these are gonna go in the hammer like that oh they look so good already um i bought this neon green nail polish at the dollar store as well so that's what i painted on the inside of the shampoo bottles and they still look really streaky they need another coat which I'm gonna do and then we got these glow sticks um they came in one pack so it was a pack of four and they're six inches so they're pretty small so they're gonna fit in the tubies and that's what's gonna make them glow I'm so excited um I don't know how strong they're gonna be I feel like I'm gonna test out two one time and just see how bright it's gonna be because I don't know if it's gonna be super bright but this color kind of seems to glow on its own, so it's not like it needs a lot of light. <clears throat> and then I bought a roll of red wire. I got this from Home Depot. And so I'm just going to be able to use this for all the wiring in the mallet. 
and I was very careful, very specific because all the rot wiring has to be red. It can't be like different colors because the whole joke is that when Batman goes to like disarm the bomb, there's a note next to it that says cut the red wire and they're all red. So like I had to only use red wire and then I need to make the little bomb like face. I'm just going to make that out of foam which we're going to be doing today and then for the clock, the um, it's the timer counting down. I actually just bought a clock from Target for like ten dollars. It's just a wall clock, so it's just gonna show the time. But at least it's gonna look like numbers. So um, it runs on battery. Actually, I can't figure out how to get it running. Hold on. So if it's plugged in, I mean it displays time. But as soon as I unplug it, it goes away. Like where? What is the battery supposed to just like kick in? You can't even. Can't even tell. See, but see how streaky it looks still. I don't know if that's gonna work. <whistles> what? Eating my sketchbooks up there. What a brat. Stay. Oh, how's my video doing? Is it uploaded to YouTube yet? <laughs> I should check on that. Oh, it was! Vis visit it! Okay. Hold on. Pause this live chat because I need to do YouTube stuff. Done editing videos. Sweet. We should have no lag, no buffering. I'm super stoked. We should be doing really, really well. Hopper! Actually, this, they're pretty on there with that super glue. But I don't want to risk it. Like, do I still want to put screws in it? Just to be safe, I just... I never trust glue. After Honey Lemon, I just, I don't trust any glue, not even manufacturer shoe glue. It all disappoints me. They're almost too shiny. I need to dirty them up a bit. I don't know. Do I want to put screws in them? I don't. Like, what if I ruin it? <laughs> More of the love every time. All right, no screws. I'm screwing that idea. Oh, 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 I'm so punny today. You can't come with me, bird. Don't be crazy. All right, I'm going to put the bird in the closet to entertain you once again. There you go. Have fun. Have fun. Ba boom, I'm back. Were you good? What are you doing? I cannot, I cannot afford to do anything outside of California. In all honesty, I can't afford to do things past LA. Like LA is the furthest I go for conventions. <sighs> it's just, it's too expensive. You have to buy hotel rooms. The actually, okay, it's mostly about the hotel room because my car gets excellent gas mileage. And I mean, usually the tickets for the convention aren't that expensive. I mean, let's say hundred bucks, but that's nothing compared to hotel rooms, especially when you need to stay like three nights for a convention. <sighs> And then, that's only like when I go to LA or Anaheim, like when I get a hotel. If I have to like fly across country, that's a few hundred dollars. I can't, I just, I don't have the money to do that. <laughs> okay, we're building a bomb. A fake bomb. I have to keep reiterating that because it's so fun to like say I'm building a bomb. But it's a fake bomb. It's completely fake. Nothing about this is a real bomb. It's made out of foam, okay? Foam and nail polish. That actually might be able to create a bomb. It's made out of foam and shampoo bottles, okay? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Bird, what are you doing? Okay, he's okay, he's fine. You can't see him. Oh, there he is, hi, Bird! This is not, that is not a square fruit. Oh, I looked at this and I was like, how is it 2590? Nope, it's 652, my bad. Mm. Mm. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pin pad. Super glue dries so fast that my fingers get stuck to whatever I'm making. My favorite Big Bang songs? That would be all of them! There is not a Big Bang song that I do not like. That's how much I love them. So I have a nice jeans and I have work jeans. Everything else is leggings. I do not like wearing pants. Like, specifically jean pants. I feel so restricted and like, I, if I had to run away 
from zombies. Like, I wouldn't be able to to hop fences and stuff in jeans. I would have to be in leggings, so that's all I wear, because you never know when the apocalypse is going to happen and you're going to need to run away. Do you like my logic? Just laying a lot of hot glue in there. Woo! You pet me. Pet me. Pay attention to me. Don't eat my earphones. Thank you for that kiss. That was a nice kiss. <sighs> I should. Okay, give me five minutes. I will be right back. Because or else I'm being lazy. I don't want to be lazy. Okay, I'm going to go drum this. I'll be right back. <sighs> oh, so clean. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, it's a mallet. Oh, yay! <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to friends, okay? And she's reading the manga that I that I sent her. Okay, we were watching Kamisama. Kamisama. Kamisama Kiss. Stupid anime. Don't watch it, okay? You're gonna get your heart broken. Don't watch it! Seriously, don't. So, <laughs> I don't even know this girl. We, she lives in some other state we've never met, but we found each other over cosplay over my page. And so we just started talking. We like the same things. And <laughs> I told her, go read the manga. It's really, because it, it, the anime just cuts off. And that's like the worst thing that could ever happen is just they make an anime or a manga that all of a sudden just cuts off. That's why I've stopped reading manga and watching anime for the most part, because all of my favorite ones have done that. Don't even get me started. So I put it down, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore, but then she brought up this anime and I was like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. You suggested that I watched it. And of course it cuts off, like season two just like ends and it's been like six years, so I know they're not gonna make a season three. So I was like, well, I know the manga is a lot longer than the anime. So like, okay, now I have to read the manga to catch up on what I missed because they just left you in a cliffhanger. So now we're talking about it. Uh, don't say anything about Walking Dead. I'm not watching it. If you do any spoilers, I will find you and I will catch you. No spoilers. And I haven't watched Flash or Arrow yet either, so none of that either. Don't talk about that stuff. My favorite Walking Dead character is probably Glenn and Maggie. I really like Glenn and Maggie. Rick and Carl both kind of really annoy me. It's just... Get your stuff together, man, and jeez, it's like, ah, oh. Rick is like too bipolar, it makes me so angry, he's been like trying to find himself for the past three seasons since Lori died, and I'm just like, get over it, man, it's the zombie apocalypse, you need to get your stuff together, and Carl, oh my god, that little dick, he just needs to get bitten by a zombie and just get out of here, but he's not gonna, okay, wait, hold on, I forgot about Carol. Carol is the bomb, okay? Can we just accept that right now? She is awesome. She just, she knows what has to get done. She's a little cray. She just does, like, with the out, the disease broke out and she killed the two people. Like, a little extreme. But I can understand her reasoning. But, like, I don't know what's gonna happen because I've read a few of the comics. I haven't read the whole thing, but I know how it ends, okay? So I know who survives. So that's why every time that I watch, I'm like, who's dying this season? Like, I know who can't die. But there are characters that they have changed from the original storyline that could still survive with the people who survive through the whole thing. So I'm always like, I'm ruined that some of my favorite characters are going to be among those characters. So I'm just like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Daryl has such a big fan base that I don't really understand. Like, he's a funny guy in real life. Like, in on the panels of The Walking Dead and stuff, he's freaking hilarious. And it, that was a great panel to go to two years ago at Comic-Con. Two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. And it was just great. But yeah, Daryl's cool, but not, not my favorite. He's up there, but he, like, Carol. Carol's where it's at. Oh my god, Sasha needs to die. Okay, so let's, I'm just, this isn't really a spoiler because it's in the comics and it's already happened. Like, I'm not, it's not a spoiler. I'm just going to explain to you why I'm thinking the way I do about the characters who are going to survive. So, Carol dies in the comics a long, long time ago. Remember when her daughter died? Sophie? 
Sophia? Sophia! So when Sophia died, it was actually Carol who was supposed to die in the comics. But Sophia died, and so Carol should never have been alive through all of what the show has gone through since that first or second season when Sophia died. And so knowing that, I'm like, they made Carol survive and they're making her do all of this awesome stuff when she died in the comics a long time ago. So I'm like, Carol's gonna survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Carol's gonna live! Yes! I really, I really, really hope so. Okay, that wasn't a spoiler, okay? That was explaining what happens in the comics versus what the show is doing, okay? Calm down! Carl is so annoying. Get out of here, spammer! It's gone! There is no second chances here. I don't care if you was a mistake. You're out of here! Shoo! I want bigger costumes! I want bigger, better costumes! I mean, the problem with the Harley Quinn costume is, is that it's based off of the new 52 Harley Quinn. Have you seen that slut costume? It looks almost identical to what they did in the movie. I mean, at least they gave her fishnets and they gave her a jacket so she's not wearing a little corset with her boobs falling out. And her hair is dyed like that from the new 52. She has black and red or blue and red, just like full dyed out ponytails. She's not even blonde anymore. So at least they only did it on the tips of her hair. But her costume, that split red and blue thing, is new 52. And I can get where they were getting that inspiration from, but I don't know why they went with that. I mean, why not just go classic? It's because they're trying to get every, like, new people into comics. They're going with the new comics that have just been released. And it just, such a bad decision. I heard rumors that she was actually going to wear a costume that was more similar to the original Red and Harley Quinn suit. But, I mean... I feel like pictures would have leaked by now because I don't think her, I think that's going to be her main costume through the whole movie. It might get a little better or a little different, I don't know, but I don't particularly like the costume at all, but I know where they were getting it from so I understand why it's there. And it's stupid, but it is, so. Who's a spammer? Get out! Get out of my chat room! Shoo! Goodbye! Ooh, what was that? Where did it go? I'm gonna make it really twisty and then I'm gonna stick it somewhere else just because the picture of the wires are just going everywhere and I think it's supposed to look crazy like a madman made it. Because he did! We have BOMB! Is that enough wire? Do we look? Do we look electrified? Ooh, ooh, it's a bomb. Ooh, it looks good. Oh, 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 oh. oh it looks so good! There we got our, our glowy tubes in it. And they're definitely crooked. But you know what? That's okay. It's okay. No one cares. I think we did pretty good, right? So, that's it. I will wait until my live, my, my stream catches up with your guys' live broadcast. But go ahead and say goodbye to everyone in the chat and everything. And I will see you next Sunday. We're going to do it around noon. If I can get up early enough and get everything set up early enough. But yeah, it's going really well. Um, might have another stream midweek. Who knows? Those just kind of pop up out of nowhere depending on when I have time or not. But yeah, definitely next Sunday we'll do this again. I'm freaking out apparently. Okay, that's it. Bye.